Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a Pearson Chi-Square test of independence using a Texas instrument TI-83. The example I'll be using is this data here, and that's also the first thing we need to do and enter actually that into our calculator as a matrix. So click on the button up here that says matrix, then move twice to get to edit, and choose where you want to store it. I'll be using the default one first one. Press enter. Then we need to select the range, uh, the number of rows and the number of columns. So my example has five rows and it actually has two columns. And press down so I can enter the data. So the first one is four, five, six. Enter. Then five, one, six. Enter. 58, enter, 123, enter, 142, enter, 172, enter, 29, enter, 50, enter, 188, enter, and 207, enter. Right, so all the data is in. Um, that is the same as in these instructions. And then we can actually already perform the test. Uh, what you need to do is you want to go to STAT. And you might have to click on it twice, just in case. Then make sure it says here, Edit, Calc, and Test. And we want to perform a test. So move twice to the right. And then scroll up, so that goes slightly faster. Go to this little chi square test. Press enter. Now the observed one is uh, the A matrix, so that's okay. The expected will be put in B because that one is blank. And then go down that we actually want to calculate it, so enter. And there's the chi square test results. Uh, the chi square value is 16.99 rounded, the p value is 0 0.0019, and it has 4 degrees of freedom. It might be sometimes important, uh, depending on your instructor or how strict you want to be, about uh, those expected values. There shouldn't be too many that are below 5, some would say even none. So we can check that by going to the matrix, twice to decide to get to the edit, and my expected values were stored in a B, so I'll select that one, and then press enter. And here I can see the expected values. In total, there's 5 times 2 equals 10 cells, and in this case, none of them are below 5, so 0%. Some say you will have uh, less than 20% is acceptable, some will say it has to be 0. The minimum expected cell sometimes is a criteria to be at least 1. Well, in this case, all of them seem far above that 1, so we're good to go on the Pearson chi square test.